6.20 a.m. at the moment. Um, sunrise will happen at about 7 o'clock, so I timed that uh, for you guys so I can film. I just wanted to thank you all for the support and watching all the previous videos and liking and subscribing. Uh, I know there's not much uh, views in retrospect what you can get out there in the YouTube world, but I'm grateful for every single one of them. The water's holding at about 19 degrees. Not much has been happening in terms of fishing just because it's winter and um, the bite has gone off a little bit. However, um, we're gonna try a different location today and see what we can uh, achieve. I'm hopefully gonna be chasing some um, silver Torelli and see if we can get a winter king on a, another rod. So I'm taking two outfits today just because it's a smaller wharf. I'll take a medium outfit for uh, the kingfish, um, yellow tail kingfish, and I'll take a light outfit for the trevally and brim and that kind of stuff. I just bought some pillies, uh, pilchards. So we're just gonna be uh, using them unweighted um, on the previous rigs, so nothing's changed. We'll just keep it simple, and generally that works. But yeah, guys, uh, we're just gonna keep it simple today as always. You know, no sinker, just keep it natural in the water. We'll cube up some pillies. We'll use some whole pillies on the medium outfit so we can entice a larger fish. And we'll see how we go. Generally, you can fish at all wharfs in Sydney um, if you just have a look on Google Maps and um, just work your way on work your way from one wharf to another and just keep hopping until you find a location that you like. Generally, um, all the species of fish caught are gonna be the same in the near vicinity of each other. Um, so one is not better than another. We do share these wharves with the public transport with the ferries. I think they come every half an hour or every hour if it's on the weekend. There's not much foot traffic there, people catching the ferries and whatnot, so it's, it's, it's okay. Um, so it should be good. Um, it's a bit deeper water, so some big species can fly past. Semi-finals of the World Cup's on at the moment. We've got Croatia versus England. It's 1-1 at the moment with extra time, so um, I'll cut back to you guys very shortly. My tide's going to happen at about 7 o'clock in about an hour or so. Um, the change of tide's going to happen, sorry, at about 7 o'clock, so should be really good. You get good results here at high tide, I've noticed, so fingers crossed, guys. It's a beautiful morning. Let's do it. Absolutely beautiful morning. So I'm just using a 1.8 Yamashita pink in colour. Just let it drop to the bottom very slowly. Might go for a bigger jig because we are in deeper water, maybe a three. But we'll see how we go. So we just dig it up like this. Just let it sink. The squid will feel the vibrations in the water. Got really good sensors. And just a slow retrieve. Not much happening. Guys, I've decided to go a bit heavier here. I'm just using this eggy head uh, 3.0. It's this beautiful uh, purple color, purple aqua blues. We'll just change it up a bit, see if we can entice a bite. If not, we just might move straight on to fishing. 
an update, no squid today. So we're just gonna put this bait, uh, size one bait holder hook. And we'll cube a pilly and we'll see if there's anything out there just to test the waters. A bit of a nibble there, a bit of interest. While I was filming. And I think that's a bait gone there. So there is potential today. Very small bites at the moment, guys. So if you're interested, guys, these are the hooks I'm using. I'm just using the mustard size one bait holder hook. Find they work pretty well. Got these little barbs here, a bit bigger than the normal ones that you get, so the bait does stand a bit better. Just had a small bite there, pretty instant. Whatever's down there, they're having a good feed of pilchards. Thinking they're juvenile snapper or something like that, small brim. Just let that sink down, that will slowly float through the whole water column. Getting bites again. Oh, very small, very small. Just wanna hook one up to see what they are. See what's giving me trouble. Just let that sink. Take out the slack out of your line. Get that dragon strike, and we're getting small bites instant. I'm not surprised if he's just picked it around my uh, hook. Give it a couple more seconds. Yeah, nothing there. Just really want to test out this um, this new outfit that I got. See how it handles itself. Getting a bite, and we are on. Just keep that tension. It does feel like a small brim. Oh no, it's a good old leather jacket. Skull dragging him. Look at those teeth. They can get through aluminium. A spike there, you don't want to get spiked by that. We'll give him a good release though. Let's go buddy. Beautiful. Hey guys, first fish of the day. Good old leather jacket. Not the species we're after. They haven't got a size limit in New South Wales. Um, they're quite sweet, the meat. If you get the bigger ones and you skin them, you just rip off the skin. The skin almost feels like leather, that's why they're called leather jacket. But yeah guys, my impressions on this rod and reel. I haven't hooked up anything decent besides that Trevally the other day. But just, I'm enjoying fishing with it. Really, really smooth, good sensitivity. Um, yeah, just amazing rod and reel. Let's get that beautiful sunrise on camera guys. Haven't had much luck since that leather jacket. The fishing is slow in winter. Bait looks like this. That there's biggers around. We really gotta get something today for our efforts. Getting picked apart here, but it's fishing. Beautiful sunrise. Getting small nibbles again. Hopefully a bigger one finds it. With the small fish congregate, the bigger ones will follow. Jeez. Definitely just uh, feeding the fish at this stage. Getting him fatter for next season. We are on. See the culprit. The drag's so loose and it's just coming in like nothing. Small beautiful brim guys. Maybe 18 centimeters or so. Beautiful fish. So he's been picking us. These have a size limit of 25 centimeters in New South Wales, but he'll be next season. So I've fed him and I'm gonna release him for you guys. Till next time. See ya buddy. So it's been 30 minutes and then we've got another ferry on its way. It's a good time to prep some bait and to get the rods ready. You guys a little tip every now and again if the fish haven't touched your bait give it a cast let it float through the water columns um, 
Oh, it's just going to sit down the bottom there. It's a good sign that there's birds ducking into the water. Some bait fish around. Fingers crossed. It's very small nibbles once again, guys. I just missed him. Oh wow, 